what we do is 20% classroom, 80% hands-on here at the Ansel Fire School. And what we'll do is we'll bring them in in the morning on the first day, and we explain all the different agents and how they work on a fire. And then after that, what we'll do is we'll go into cartridge-operated and stored pressure extinguishers, and we'll break them apart, and we'll show them uh, a little bit on how they were made, uh, how the parts were made, and what their function is with the unit, and then we'll explain the different techniques on fire training. When we teach them the five different types, how to fight the five different types of Class B fires. You have a spill fire, a fuel and depth fire, you have an obstacle fire, you have a gravity fed fire, and you have a pressure fire. And there's different techniques for all of those five different types of fires. And then when we bring them outside, we also teach them the techniques on the field and giving them the hands-on that hands-on feel of an extinguisher. And we start out uh, with a spill fire, and that's a very easy fire. But we, it's, fun, it's fun to actually watch a person that comes in that's a complete novice, that's never fought a fire before. And when we, the first fire we put out, we put out about maybe 10 gallons of heptane as a fuel on a spill area. And the person is nervous. You can just, sometimes I'll put my hand on their back as we're going in, you can just feel them shaking. And in three days, we end up with a thousand square foot pressure, fire, fuel and depth situation that's not big enough. They want it bigger. We can't build them big enough. So I would never, ever, ever fight fires if you've never been trained at all on them. All right, it's, uh, I think it's critical that you are, I think, it's very, I think it's very important that you have both classroom and outside training, hands-on training. One nice thing about the training is they will They'll know exactly how big of a fire a hand portable can put out, how big of a fire a wheel unit could put out, and they'll also know when it's time to, nope, this is too big, get out of there. Back away, call 911, call the fire department. They'll know by training, by go sitting through the three-day fire school, they'll know what they can do and what the equipment can do, and when it's time to, that it's, it's bigger than a hand portable can put out, or a portable extinguisher. It's too large for a portable extinguisher. When a person leaves the Ansel Fire School, I want them to bring away confidence and knowledge. Confidence in themselves and their ability to fight a fire, and knowledge that if they're ever faced with a real fire situation, that they will take their training that they've learned and put it all together and fight that fire accordingly and safely and extinguish that fire.